This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey, everybody. God bless you. Hey, I hope you had a great Sunday. And I hope you have a great week coming up. And, you know, one of the things I always want to remind you is this John 13, 34, that we ought to love one another. As he loved us, we ought to love one another. This is a new commandment from Christ. Amen. And we are Christians. So we, we're going to obey Christ. We accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. That's the standard that we go by. And one of the things we're looking at was talking about today with the political climate in this country and the importance and responsibility for us to hold and be the light of the world. Because that's what we're supposed to be. And be a light of the world, whether you are a Democrat or whether you're a Republican or Independent, you are responsible to hold everyone accountable to the truth. That's the, that's the responsibility. We don't operate in lies, we operate in truth. We want to get involved with politics because we need to make sure that our country, our society, lives up to the standards and values of Christianity. And that's your love one another. Amen? So one of the things we're looking at was the second, Th second Thessalonians chapter 2, starting in verse 2, that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letters as, forth, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And I don't want us to fall away. None of you. I want you to stay in Christ. Amen. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Jump into verse 9. Even him who cometh is after the working of Satan with all powers and signs and lying wonders and with all deceitfulness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but as pleasure and unrighteousness. We don't want that. We don't. We as Christians don't have pleasure and unrighteousness. We have pleasure and righteousness. Second Corinthians says six fourteen. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? And in the end of the book of Revelation, check this out. Verse Revelation twenty two fifteen. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh us a lie. We're not liars. We're believers. Check your fruit today, man. God bless you. God loves you, man.